Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Shop Talk with Shelly. Me. How are you guys today? Today is like the perfect day. It's like 73, windy. Not so much where my plants are blown off my patio, but enough to make it a nice breeze. So I like that. As you guys can see, I have tons of stuff to talk about. But I do have to say a shout out to all the girls at the Sit and Stitch today. We have a ton of people over there and I'm so happy and um, excited about it because I get to meet new people see projects sometimes I see things that I'd like to uh, make but I don't know how so then I kind of pick their brains it's uh, I just love it it's awesome I also have to talk about my hand there was quite a few questions last week why I had a bandage on this finger I wasn't flipping anybody off somebody said I was mm-hmm <laughs> but um, I got in the middle of a dog fight this one I cut on a paper, and this one was in a door jam. So my right hand took a beating this weekend. I don't know what happened, but I um, when I say I can't walk and chew gum, I am totally serious. I find myself in a heck of a jam sometimes. Um, let's see, we're going to announcements. Can you believe that this weekend is July 4th weekend? I looked at the calendar, and I'm like, what the heck? I mean, I'm glad because I love the 4th of July weekend, but I can't believe it. But then after the 4th, things get so busy, it, it, at least in my house. It just seems like it's like, boom, summer, every weekend packed, and then school starts. And it's like, oh, it goes so fast. Um, but what I'm going to talk about is, don't forget we have a kids camp. Um, it's filling up pretty quick. So if you want your kiddos to learn some sewing skills, it's the time to register this week. It's a July 11th through the 14th. Our instructor, Adrian will be teaching the kids. Um, she's new to primitive gatherings, so we are excited to have her. She is a retired teacher, so she has that gentle touch with kids that um, some of us may not have. Me, I'm kind of rough around the edges. Uh, I mean, I've raised them, but you know, yours are yours, and the rest of them is like, ooh, I don't know. Um, the, we have two classes. We have morning, which is 9 to 11, or uh, the afternoon is 1 to 3. Uh, it's a four-day session, $70 for f the four days. If you can only do one or two days, not a problem. That's $20 a session. All the supplies are supplied. All you have to do is just bring your kiddo, drop her off, drop him off, and away we go. Now, look at this. So, this weekend's July 4th. Um, then after that, we have the Iola Car Show. Um, I'm not a car buff, but my husband is, so they walk around, look at all this stuff. I think it's just junk, but clearly it's treasures. I don't know. Um, that's this weekend, or the weekend after. Then the EAA Show comes. See what I'm talking about? It's so busy. Uh, that's July 22nd through the 31st, and we are doing um, open sew every single day. We will have make and takes. We will have people there that if you have questions, we can answer it. You can bring your girlfriends and sit and chit chat and sew, and that way you don't have to walk around with your husband. Do that one day, come here the rest. It's amazing. Awesome, and I think, oh, one more thing. Quilter's beginning class. That is starting July 13th, 6 p.m. We will have a flyer out oh, in a day or so, maybe today, probably today. Yes, today. That's what I'm getting from the back. So, <laughs> so we'll have that out. But if you want to register, you need to call Judy, and the number is 920-778-8031. And that's the only time I'm going to say call Judy for today because I had a hundred of them in last week. So on to all of the stuff that I have to talk about. So today we're going to talk about a quilt called Play a Card. This quilt is an 87 by 87. The kit is 95 and the pattern only is 1290. Um, the kit and pattern is 25% off. So it is $95. Look at this. This to me is an amazing quilt. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Here's this. Isn't that awesome? Peekaboo. I like quilts like this for summer sewing because 
when you sew in the summer, or when you're a sewer, you want to sew every single day of your life and you don't want to be bothered. When the summer comes, we want to be outside. We want to go do things that we can do outside and we still want to sew. To me, these are the kind of patterns and quilts that I want to sew because they're simple, but yet they're not so simple it becomes boring. But it's something that you can work on maybe an hour a day. Or you could say, okay, I'm going to get four blocks done today. Where when you start doing more intricate quilting, you kind of have to pay more attention to it. And you kind of have to make sure that we're, when you're stopping for the day, it's a good spot to stop. Because otherwise you forget. And you're like, oh my gosh, what did I cut? Where did I leave off? So these, these, this quilt, to me, is one of those that you can sew in the summer in the morning, drink your coffee, or at night, you know, when you're kind of winding down. It's a no-thought process. That's what I like sometimes. There. Now, I have another one like that. This one is called Journey. This one is a 45 by 56 uh, quilt. This is awesome. This is another quilt that, um, honestly, you could probably do in a day, but you could you know, split it up to a weekend or whatever. But it's a great size for a baby quilt. I mean, that's, that's a really good size. I like it. Um, the kit is 45, and the book is 20. Um, 20% off of kits. This is from the book, I don't know if you guys remember this, but the Urban Homestead Gatherings. Um, this is from Lisa's line. If you notice, I'm gonna pull one page up. This is where they have all those beautiful, to me they're wintry quilts. Now if you wanted to do this quilt, this is a very lightweight quilt. It's not the heavy flannels, um, but you know, just because you don't like these or you want to do something summery, you can switch out the colors. That's not a problem. Then I have one more. This one is called Well Organized. This one is a bigger quilt. And this quilt is an 82 by 86. The kit is $175. And again, the book is 20, but the kits are 20% off this week. This is another uh, easy piece one. Um, something that you could sit and, you know, if you're, I know a lot of women go outside to sew. They take their sewing machine outside and they, you know, enjoy the, the breeze or the sun. This was a good one to do that because also it's little pieces. You don't have to take out big blocks or anything. Cut your strips and away you go. Now, my ne next one is a panel. Hang on. Any questions so far? Yeah, huh? is the journey pattern a single pattern? Nope, the journey is in the book. Uh, the question was, is journey a single pattern or a book pattern? It's in the book, Urban Homestead Gatherings. So it's in this book. The book is $20, but you get tons of information and tons of patterns. Eight patterns in that. You can't beat that. So, any other questions? Uh, not about this right now. Okay, I'll wait. So now, we all know about the panels, how I love panels. I think this one is awesome. This panel is a Moda panel, and it is our national parks. I love these kind of quilts because it really is they're perfect things that you can throw on your couch and get them done really quick. Or if you have those last minute gifts that you have to do and you don't know what to give somebody, uh, panels to me are always the best to do. I like this one because it does show all of our national parks. Um, it's gender neutral. But what we're doing with these, and I'll talk to you about that, is the panel is $40. If you do a panel and a Bella backing, and quilting here with the boys, it's $190. So voila, you have a beautiful quilt for $190.
If you decide that you want the panel and a flannel backing and the quilting, it's $200. Um, that is really an easy, quick gift that you guys could do. Um, I made two of them and I added some borders and things like that to make it a little bit bigger because my guys are a little bit bigger. Um, but you know, you could just go quilt it just like this. You've got enough, you know, enough. Then you just cut there. Once you have that quilted, bind it and away you go. You can't beat it. All right. How are we doing on questions? Anything? Uh, we have a couple of questions. Okay. Give me a question. I would like to know, um, which one of Lisa's next fabric lines is coming out? Okay, the question is, is um, what uh, a fabric line of Lisa's, which one is coming out next? The one that's coming out next would be Red Work. I can't tell you when because we're still in that, we're still in that uh, shipping thing. So if I say something, then it's not here. Then it's like, but you said. So, but her next line is the wet Red Work Gatherings and it will be here soon. How's that? Anything else? Um, yesterday we had the Hogs for Heroes event. They'd like to know how many quilts were. Oh, Hogs for Heroes events yesterday. Um, all I can say is I'm in awe of every single person that came and showed up yesterday. Um, our goal was to have 600 blocks. We exceeded that goal. Our goal yesterday was to get 15 quilt tops done yesterday. We actually got 31 quilt tops done yesterday. It's amazing how these, all these women, some are friends, some were single people, some were, had no, any idea who anybody was, came in there, they came in, kicked butt, they made some really good friends, they had good food, and they had an awesome day, and they exceeded everything that As Primitive Gatherings was expecting. Um, like I said, as a military mom, you don't know how much it means to everybody that's in the military or was in the military when people actually take time out of their day to thank all of our service members. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Um, these women, they, I have never heard women laugh so hard and have so much fun and yet get so much done. So a big shout out to those women yesterday. Thank you. We love you, and it's awesome. I can't wait to show you everything that we did. All right, anything else? No, but I think we should do a prize. Let's do a prize. So I go here. We're going to go into great prize. We'll talk about what I'm going to talk about. So flower head pins. I know you guys think that my favorite pins are magic pins, which they are in some instances. These, I love these pins, and I... Uh, I struggled with the verbiage on this. So when you have a pen, you have the head of the pen, and then there's the pen part. And I wanna say the shaft part, but I know I just start giggling and I, I can't help it. I have a four-year-old brain. But when you use these pens for thicker materials or when you're using them to um, like baste your quilts and stuff, these are the best because they're a wee bit longer and the flat head, I like them. Now for your long armors, um, if you guys are pinners, which I'm a pinner, cause I'm an old school uh, kind of gal, I use these because one, they don't bend very easily. They lay flat. So when you're rolling your quilts onto your bars and stuff, you don't have those bumps. Um, I do know that some people use T-pins. Um, T-pins are not a great idea cause it is thicker. It's like putting a sledgehammer through your fabric. So these, I love these. Who, and I'm going to give these away to somebody. Who are they going to? Kate Lavati. Kate? Lavati. Lavati. Send us your info. We'll get them in the mail to you. All right. Next, we're going to talk about flower pot line. So this is a Moda um, by Lella Boutique. I love this line, and I'll tell you why. I love every fabric. I mean, who am I kidding? Um, this is just really nice colors. Um, these are actually my favorite colors. I like all the greens and the blues. This is a really, to me, a really pretty deep coral. Um, I like these five inch squares because, you know, again, here it is. You could put these together, make a top, 
have it quilted or you quilt it and have a nice little gift. Um, these are $10.99, so I think and you get 40, 42 squares for $10.99. Pre-cut, all ready to go, done. Now we're gonna talk about seam rippers. I know that you guys may not have to do seam rippers, but I do. So I'll tell you my seam ripper story. I started long, I started quilting this quilt. I did a half a row and I'm like, Ugh, I really don't like the way it's stitching out, but I kept going. Now, why did I not stop? I have no idea. But not only did I keep going, I did another row. So now I had over 57,000 stitches in these rows. Didn't like it. So me and my friend, Jack, the Ripper, <laughs> we spent a whole week together and we are like best buddies now. I mean, I know him, he knows me. We're on a really friend level. So we have these here and I wanted to tell you about them because they're nice. It's a nice little handle. It's um, reclaimed silverware. So if you guys are missing silverware, maybe Lisa took them out of your drawers, I'm not sure. But anyway, so this is an awesome idea. So these are $30. Now when you order these or you come in and get it, um, it's kind of a pick of the draw. So you, you know, you could say what you want, but you know, we can't really go through them and pick out the direction or the patterns, but here they are. They're $30 and they're awesome. Nice and sharp, trust me. Unfortunately, they'll be your best friend. That's the way it is in quilting world, right? Now, the next thing is, we are running a special on smoke and rust. This is another uh, Lella Boutique. Here, we'll do this. I like this because it just has, um, it has a kind of that Western, Midwestern thing going on. It has really nice neutral colors. Um, one of the sayings is, um, where is it? I had it right here. Take a walk on the wild side. I like that one. I'm at home among the trees. And the other one is Mountain View Summer Camp. Live by the sun, love by the moon. I mean, come on, those are really cool sayings. I know right now uh, the trend is for baby's rooms are kind of those grays and stuff. This would be an awesome little quick baby quilt to do. These are, let me see. Oh, the layer cakes are originally $39.99. So uh, we're taking 25% off. So they're $29.99. We have a limited amount of them. So if you want them, you better jump on it super fast. We have honey buns. We have 11 honey buns. Those are $30, but they're $22.50 now. And then of course we have the three five inch charms that are $10 but are now $7.50. So if you guys want to do that, you better jump on super fast. All right. Any questions? They want your shirt. My shirt? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Here, toss me one. Look at that, live on TV. These are obviously our shirts. We, they come in several sizes, colors, several sayings. Here's the black one. Um, we have gray. We have a nice... Like, it's like an army green. I'm sure there's probably a better word for that, but um, beige, white. Um, I wear what I like about it because obviously, look, they just pop up just like that. Isn't that amazing? I like to have this at my house. But here's the green. They're just cool and they have different things. They wash awesome. They, um, don't shrink a lot you know you know cotton does shrink a little bit but these aren't like if you buy a large and you wash it then it becomes an instant small you know it's yeah it's like you're like ooh, i gained some weight actually you didn't it just shrunk in the dryer um these are 26 dollars. there you go and i love them it takes the thought process out of me getting dressed every day <laughs> i want to shout out to denise hi denise i know you're next door um any other questions right now Nope. Okay. So we're going to go on to, we did this, we did that. All right. Now we're going to go on to wool. My favorite. Yay. Um, oh wait, let's do a gift. All right. Pam lemons, Pam lemons, Mo lemons. Awesome. I'm going to send you this, a nice little charm pack of our flower pots. Give us your info so we can get it to you. 
Now we're going to go into wool. Um, I'm a newbie at wool. I have to say that. So I'm like five years in. So I still get really excited about different wool projects and things like that. So this is what we're going to talk about. The blue hydrangea table mat. Isn't that beautiful? It's small, not overwhelming, and you learn a lot of little different um, techniques on this one. So you learn how to do these kind of flowers. They have that little French knot in the middle, and then you'll learn the stem stitch and also the buttonhole stitch. Anybody that wants to try a wool project, something like this is a really great place to start. Um, when you're doing your stitches, I always tell everybody, go on YouTube, go to Lisa Bonjean, go all the way to the bottom. She has tons of tutorials on how to stitch each of these stitches. It's right down on her, so you see it like right if she was right in front of you. Um, the best tutorials that I've ever used. And I do use them still because there's times where I'll have that moment and I'm like, how do I do that? So I go back, watch it, and then all of a sudden that light bulb goes on. So here's the pattern and the kit. The uh, kit and pattern is $25.50. Pattern only is seven. That's a pretty good deal. I think so. We also, for all the things that I'm showing you for the wool kits today, we have thread kits available. So not only could you order the pattern, the kit, and the threads, you're ready to go. No, no thinking involved. Just enjoy. So we have this. Fresh Cut Daisies. This is one of my favorites. So this is Fresh Cut Daisies. Without, it's 12 by 18 without the frame. Um, the kit is $18.50. The pattern is seven. And the frame is 41. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? So you could put this up summer and spring and then do something the same size, like a Santa or something for the winter, and then maybe a pumpkin or something for the fall. So that wall space can kind of change all the time. If you're not into hanging pictures, you could easily turn this into a pillow or a nice table mat, anything. It does not, the lim there's no limits on this. The next one I have is this one. This is, it's the 2020, but you could put 2021, you could put 2019. It seems like we stayed home a very long time. Um, I didn't mind staying home, so it wasn't a big deal to me. I got a lot of stuff done. But this one is a six by 10 without the frame. It, the kit is 11, the pattern is nine, and the frame is 25. But again, I mean, that would be a cute little pillow to put on your couch, or, you know, or whatever. I personally like it with the frame, but that's just me. So there you go. And then we're going to talk about Primitive 2 charms. And these are wool charm packs. So they're, they're five inch squares. Um, they have the purple, isn't that a gorgeous purple? I love that. And then they have a really cool, I like these two greens. They're kind of the bluish greens. If you're into wool applique and stuff, you'll see all the value in these. I mean, different things that you can um, use it for. So tree trunk, tree leaves, frog, whatever. I like them. These are $14, but we also have a 7x8 bundle, and that's $20. We have an 8 by 12 bundle, that's 38, and we have a 12 by 14 bundle, and that's 70. So make sure you order these. They are the primitive number two bundles. Any questions? Yeah. Okay. Hydrangea kit. Is hydrangea. There, is there a thread kit for that? Yes, there is. So the question was for the hydrangeas, is there a thread kit? Yes. For all three projects that I showed you today, there are thread kits for every single one of them. Anything else? Yeah, and do you have um, a great suggestion for a book on how to learn how to wool applique? Yes, I. the question was, do I have um, a book that would help start out applique? Wool applique, I do. Um, if you could hang on one second, we're going to do something really quick, and I'll be right back. Here we go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
ta-da. So here's the books. <laughs> I love live TV. Awesome. So this is Lisa's Wool and Needle Thread Beginner Book. This shows you everything. How to trace it. How to stitch it. I mean, look how close those pictures are. It's amazing. She gives you all the different uh, stitches, how to do it step by step. And then we have some projects in the back for you. Just, you know, a simple project to get you started. Now, once you've mastered this, then we get to go on to this. So this is her Wool Needle 2 book. It's a little bit more um, advanced, but it also gives you some really great tips. And then you really expand on your uh, stitching and a lot more projects in here. So these are multiple projects. There's a little frog. How about that? See, and then there's the little frog coloring. Toot -toot. Isn't that awesome? And then that's some table mats. But when you start doing wool applique, you'll start looking at different things and you're like, oh, I like that cross stitch pattern, but I don't cross stitch, but boy, I can make that out of wool. I mean, it's so easy. I know I say it's easy, but once you get into it, you'll learn, you'll start thinking that way. Any questions? All right, do we give all our gifts away? One more. Ooh! JoLynn Barilla. JoLynn Barilla. Mm -hmm. Awesome, you guys have really hard last names. Um, I'm gonna send you one of these. So that is the packs. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you give us your information so we can get it out. Mm -hmm. um, any other questions? Just remind them where to send their information for that. I don't know where. Oh, to the store. Email the store. Oh, so you have to email the it's store. On the screen right now. <laughs> it's on the screen right now. Store at primitivegatherings.us. <laughs> so I'm trying I, not to put you on the spot. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, you put me out. I had to go run and get the book. I thought oh. we were here. So anyhow, um, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend um, and enjoy the weather, the fourth family, uh, fireworks. I don't know what we're doing this weekend. I do know that I get to have my granddaughter again, so I'm super excited about that. Clearly, I'm hoping she doesn't puke on anything. Keep our fingers crossed. Um, enjoy. Talk to you guys later. Bye.